Miss Beth for bedtime stories with Miss Beth. We are getting so excited here at the library about Halloween. My gosh, look what I have on. I have my witchy poo hat and frankly, I love reading with Frankenstein. I'm going to read one of my favorite Halloween books and it just happened to be in today, <laughs> which is rare this close to Halloween. Uh, before I share with you Halloweener by Dave Pilkey, that name sounds familiar to some of you who are tuning in. He has written Captain Underpants. Um, he's also written um, The Mighty Robots. And, oh, Miss Cindy, what are some others that Dave Pilkey has done? Mm, he has Dragon, a Dragon series. Dragon Breath. He, he oh, wrote yeah. and illustrated yeah. Dragon Breath, which is not a series. Right. <laughs> um, but a little, uh, like an easy reader series with a dragon. I yeah. can't remember the whole name. Mm -hmm. So Dave Pilkey is pretty prolific. Dog breath. Dog, Dog breath. breath. Yeah. <laughs> He's written a lot. <laughs> so, man, so much that we get it confused. <laughs> I know, we get, we get him confused. But anyway, Dave Pilkey. Um, before uh, I share this book, I want to let you know that downtown this weekend is the Pumpkin Festival. Um, you can find out about it at Visit Loveland. You have to sign up um, for a time slot to be able to attend. And there's going to be lots of activities related to pumpkins. So come and check it out. The library will be there. Um, you may see some familiar unicorns. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay, The Halloweener by Dave Pilkey. And it's published by Blue Sky Press, an imprint of Scholastic. Hey, there once was a dog named Oscar, who was half a dog tall and one and a half dogs long. Look at those mischievous kitties. Hmm, pay attention to them. Because of his unusual shape and size, all the other dogs made fun of him. Leaner dog, leaner dog, they called him. And Oscar did not like it one bit. I don't like it when people call me names either. Oscar's mother was no help either. Every morning when the dogs walked off to obedience school, Oscar's mother stood in the front yard waving and calling out, Farewell, my little Vienna sausage! <laughs> I think I probably do that to my kids too. Not Vienna sausage, but... I probably embarrass them. And the other dogs laughed and laughed. And look at those two mischievous kitties. Today's lesson is sit and stay. I will not sniff my neighbor. I will not sniff my neighbor. <laughs> Someone got in trouble and had to write lines. I don't think schools do that anymore. Um, most of the time, Oscar was upset by all of this but not today. Today was Halloween and Oscar was thinking about other things. All day long at obedience school, Oscar daydreamed about Halloween night, trick or treats, and scary costumes. Hmm, who is not in school today? <laughs> Two mischievous kitties. <laughs> when Oscar got home, he dashed upstairs to start working on his scary Halloween costume. But when he got to his room, a surprise was waiting for him. Dum, dum, dum. Happy Halloween, my little sausage link, said Oscar's mother. I've made you a costume to wear for trick-or-treating. I wonder if it's a ghost. I wonder if it's a banana split Sunday. I wonder if it's a tree. Hmm. Oh. It was a giant hot dog bun, complete with mustard. And guess who was supposed to fit in the middle of it? Hmm. Oscar did not want to hurt his mother's feelings, so he decided to wear the silly costume. That night, all the dogs on the block gathered to show off their costumes. Everyone was looking quite scary. And then Oscar showed up. Dum, 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 looking quite frank. <laughs> when the dog saw Oscar in his silly costume, they howled with laughter. Look at Oscar, he really is a wiener dog. Poor Oscar was so embarrassed. Wiener dog, wiener dog. 
left the other dogs as they ran off to go trick-or-treating. Oscar tried to keep up with the dogs, but his silly costume kept slowing him down. Look right here. They're all the way up here, and there's Oscar. I haven't seen those kitties in a while. Hmm. <laughs> all night long, the other dogs hounded every treat they could get their paws on. So by the time Oscar got to each house, there were no treats left. Hmm. Soon trick-or-treating was getting over and the dogs walked home past the spooky graveyard and suddenly a horrible hissing sound filled the air. Hiss. The dogs stopped dead in their tracks. Then out of the graveyard rose a ghostly or ghastly monster. The dogs screamed for their lives. They dropped their treats and jumped into a nearby pond. Splash. The monster moved closer. Please don't eat us, cried the dogs. The monster yowled and hissed. Boo! Said the monster. Boo hoo hoo, sobbed the dogs. The monster jumped up and down. Somebody save us, shrieked the dogs. Oh, just then, somebody <laughs> showed up and it was Oscar. Because Oscar was so short, he saw something that the other dogs had not seen. That's no monster, cried Oscar. And with a loud bark, Oscar waddled to the rescue. Oscar jumped and tugged with all of his might. Can you see something underneath <laughs> the ghastly monster? Rip! And there, standing in the moonlight, were a couple of ornery or mischievous kitty cats. Help, cried the cats. We're being attacked by a giant Frankfurter. And they ran off screaming through the graveyard. Ah! The dogs in the pond had seen the whole thing, and now it was their turn to be embarrassed. We've been chased into a pond by a couple of cats, they moaned. But Oscar was a true friend. He leaped into the water and swam out to the dogs. Oscar's silly costume made a wonderful life raft, <laughs> and the dogs climbed up all aboard. Oscar called, and he dog paddled back to the shore. When they got back to dry land, all the dogs shared their Halloween treats with Oscar. Because Oscar had been so brave, the dogs changed his name from Wiener Dog to Hero Sandwich. <laughs> and from that night on, nobody ever made fun of Oscar again. Happy Halloween! <laughs> I added that at the end. So, if you're still trying to think of a scary costume to wear. Don't forget that possibly dressing up as a hot dog could be a good thing. See you next week. Bye.